Tales from Eastern and Southern Asia Why the Parrot Repeats Man's Words From Thailand In ancient times it was not the parrot which was kept in the house by man and taught to speak, but the lorikeet. For people had found that this small bird was very intelligent, and he needed very little teaching. If he heard a word, he could repeat it easily. Not only that, he often spoke his own thoughts to man instead of merely imitating the sounds he heard around him. But it happened one time that this all changed. One day, it is said, a farmer saw a buffalo wandering in his rice field. It was his neighbor's animal, but the farmer took the buffalo, killed it, cut up the meat, cooked some and ate it, and the remainder he hid. Part of the meat the man hid on the top of the rice house. The rest he hid in the rice bin. The next day the neighbor came looking for his animal, saying to the farmer, "'Have you seen my lost buffalo?' The farmer replied, "'No, I have seen no lost buffalo.' But just then the farmer's lorikeet spoke up. "'My master killed it. He ate some and hid some. Part he hid in the rice bin, and part he hid over the rice house.' When the neighbor heard this, he looked in the places the bird had mentioned, and there he found the buffalo meat. But the farmer said, "'Yes, this is where I keep meat.' but I did not see your buffalo. This is the meat of another animal. The lorikeet called out again. He killed it. Part he hid in the rice bin, part he hid over the rice house. The neighbor was perplexed. He didn't know whether to accept the word of the man or the bird, and so he took the matter to court. The trial was set for the following day. The farmer who had stolen the meat said to himself, Why should the word of a lorikeet be taken rather than my word? That night he took the bird from its cage and placed it in a large brass pot. He covered the pot with a cloth so that it was dark inside. Outside the night was clear and bright. The moon was full, but inside the pot the lorky could see nothing of this. The man began to beat on the pot, softly at first, then more loudly, until it sounded like thunder. He took a dipper of water, dripping a little of it on the cloth now and then so that it sounded like rain. All night long he pounded on the pot and dripped water, and he stopped only when dawn came. Then he took the lorikeet and put, put it back in its cage. When it was time for the trial, the farmer took his bird and went to court. The neighbor who had lost the buffalo told how the lorikeet had instructed him to find the stolen meat. The judge asked the lorikeet for his testimony. The bird repeated what he had said before. He killed the buffalo. Part he hid in the rice bin, and part he hid over the rice house. The man who had stolen the buffalo spoke, saying, The meat that was in the rice bin and over the rice house was that of another animal. How can it be that you give more weight to the words of this stupid bird than to my words? The lorikeet is indeed intelligent, the judge said. He speaks more often than with nonsense than with sense, the farmer replied. Ask him another question. Ask him what kind of a night we had last night. So the judge asked the lorikeet, which replied, Last night was dark and stormy. The wind blew, the rain poured down, and the thunder roared. If you can remember, the farmer said, last night was calm and clear, and this moon shone with all its brightness. Can you now condemn me for a crime on the testimony of this bird? The people were convinced, and the judge was convinced too. They said, no, you are innocent, and your life was endangered by the witless testimony of the lorikeet. Henceforth, we will not keep this bird in our houses and care for him as though he were one of us. So the man who stole the buffalo was freed, and the lorikeet was expelled and sent back into the forest. The lorikeet lived as he had before he had known man, fending for himself and caring for his own needs. But one day the lorikeet saw a new bird in the forest, larger than himself and covered with brilliant red and green feathers. He spoke to the new bird, asking him who he was. "'I am the parrot,' the bird answered. "'I have come from the south, and now I am going to live in this country. I speak the language of man.' Then the lorikeet said, Welcome to the country. As you are a stranger here, accept my advice and warning. I too speak the language of man. For many years I was kept in man's house and cared for. I saw with my eyes and heard with my ears. I spoke not only words that man spoke, but what was in my own mind as well. But when I said what was in my own mind, it displeased man, and I was driven away. This is my warning. When man learns that you can speak his language, he will capture you and bring you into his house. Say nothing but what he teaches you. Repeat his words and nothing more. For man loves to hear only his own thoughts repeated. He is not interested in truth or wisdom from any other source. The parrot listened to the lorikeet and thanked him. And it came about as the lorikeet had predicted. 
man learned of the arrival of the talking parrot, and the parrot was captured and brought to man's house. He was fed and cared for, as once the lorikeet had been cared for, and he was taught the things that man wanted him to say. But fearful of ever saying his true thoughts, lest man resent them, the parrot only echoes the words that he hears from man's lips.